Breathitt County goes wet. Good evening, I'm Tanner Hesterberg. Booze is coming to Breathitt County after decades of being dry. Voters today approved the sale of alcohol in the county. It was a fairly close vote, 58% to 42%, bringing to an end passionate efforts from both sides fighting for what they believe was best for the county's future. WYMT Sarah Anderson was in Breathitt County today and joins us now with more on how the vote played out. Sarah. Tanner, I talked to many people in Breathitt County this afternoon, and most of them want the same thing, and that's for Breathitt County to become a better place. Some of them believe the county going wet is a step forward. 23-23 wet, 17-17 dry. With several churches in Jackson and even more in Breathitt County, many did not think the wet vote stood a chance. So up until today, you thought we were going to stay dry then? Yes. But people who placed a vote had something else to say. I mean, everybody has an opinion, and that was everybody's right to vote. And I think this is spoke for the people. Folks in Breathitt County have one common goal. I think Breathitt County is a great place where a lot of people want to raise their families. And all we're trying to do is make it an even better place by uh, fixing some of the crumbling infrastructure with some tax revenue. Yeah, because we obviously all have the same goals. We're just going about it different ways. Those different ways are separated through a social divide. I believe that God puts governments in place to regulate things for our own safety. And the Bible teaches that, they, that God, ordains, God ordains our leaders to keep us safe. I think they're worried about the moral aspect of things, which is totally legitimate. Um, as a Christian myself, I believe that you know, people, anything you can do to help people is really good. It went wet in my precinct. So after a stressful day, People in Breathitt County can relax. What's the first drink that you're going to buy? Um, Bud Light. <laughs> and hope they, as a majority, have made the right decision. And people will come to see our beautiful county. <laughs> Voting to make a difference. Now, in total, 4,040 people voted in Breathitt County today. And you won't be able to purchase alcohol immediately. Businesses will need to acquire liquor licenses through the state. Tanner? All right, Sarah, thank you. 